Begin with that drama, six people, including two Americans, floating more than 200 miles above the Earth. They are on board the International Space Station, while down below, engineers are scrambling to find answers and solutions to a critical breakdown. And ABC's Clayton Sandell is right there where the decisions are being made. Houston Station on two. Tonight, engineering a tricky repair job 230 miles above the ground. What is actually going wrong? With Mission Control today troubleshooting how to fix a faulty critical component, one of two cooling loops that keep the station from dangerously overheating. A valve in one of them is stuck, forcing the six astronauts on board to rely on the duplicate. But now there's no backup if that one fails too. This is a, a position we don't want to want to be in long term. During their Absolutely. daily briefing, NASA said that for now, the two Americans, three Russians, and one Japanese astronaut living on the station are not in danger. We've got a good stable configuration. The crew's in good shape. Engineers say they have two options. First, upload new software to reboot that stuck valve. But if that doesn't work, they'll have to swap it for a spare during a risky emergency spacewalk. But another two feet. Astronaut Doug Wheelock replaced this very same part in 2010 during his own spacewalk. How dangerous is this if they decide they do have to go out and do it? Well, I like, to, I like to always say that whenever we open that hatch and send people outside, it's always dangerous. Another problem, NASA suspended spacewalks in July after water that was supposed to keep Italian astronaut Luca Parmentano cool leaked into his suit. He nearly drowned. My head is really wet. And we had liftoff. In a worst case scenario, the crew would have to evacuate, hitching a ride home on a Russian Soyuz capsule attached to the station. Now take a look at this, Diane. This is where the astronauts actually train to live and work on the station. It's the length of a football field. Now we're told that a decision on whether or not that spacewalk is a go or no go is coming on Monday. The bottom line here is that Houston has a problem, but it's one they're confident they can fix.